The wait is over. We showed you earlier in the news the Jaguars today began showing off their new uniforms during the team's annual State of the Franchise presentation. Those Nike uniforms featured three jersey options, three pant options, and two sock options. News for Jack Sports reporter Cole Pepper joining us live. Cole, along with these new uniforms, there's also a new helmet. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, the new helmet, but it's also the old helmet. And uh, here it is. Uh, this is the quietest Jalen Ramsey has ever been, by the way. The number 20 version of the teal on teal. And this is the color rush. And you mentioned the uh, two different sock options. You'll only see the teal socks for the color rush game. But you can see these others in other combinations. And uh, Steve Ziff, the Jaguars vice president of marketing and digital, joins us. Uh, Steve, let's first start with where this all started and, and how what kind of a message you wanted to send with this this new uniform? Sure. So it started back in 2016 when we really started to have the opportunity to discuss whether we wanted a new uniform and how the players felt about the current one, what their thoughts were. And I think we really, you know, this is even pre the time, pre time coming in. We started to talk about wanting a more classic and timeless approach to our to our current design. And when we began that process and really looked at like how do we build a much more globally inspired brand for the Jaguars that everyone can look back and look forward to and say it belongs in the NFL. NFL forever and it always has and always will. Um, I think that was kind of the starting point to the process. And part of that is even something as simple as how the numbers are put on the jersey. Right. You know, just the way you look at the design of this uniform, you know, it really does hit on the most important things that we, we hallmarked to Nike, which were classic and timeless. We wanted things that could last the test of time. The font itself represents a, a font you would see back in, in 1995, and it could also be a font you would still see as a modern version of the full block, the original full block, 20 years from now. So we felt really good about where we landed, having a custom design font that represented the past well and made us a big part of the NFL and also represented a place that other NFL teams could go in the future. Now, there are a couple of things we don't see anymore. Obviously, we know the helmet doesn't have any gold, but there's other than the logo, there's no gold really on the, the jersey itself, on the on the uniform itself. Now, you know, we talked about that a lot as in through the process. Gold is always going to be a part of our brand. It's represented on the logo, which is one of the reasons the logo is on the body of the uniform. One, we want to make sure that anytime you look at this person coming at you or going side by you as he's running for a touchdown, you can see that logo. So that's one of the reasons the logo is more pronounced than on the chest. Trapped in the shield, it had to be significantly smaller. So we wanted to free it from the shield for this purpose exclusively. The shield's still a big part of our brand, and we will represent it. It represents our connection to the military locally. But for the uniform specifically, we wanted people to see the Jaguar anytime, they, anytime a player was running at them. Uh, well, and you, we will see that shield in other uh, uses as well, as you say. So uh, it's all part of it, and I'm telling you, I, I love the teal on teal. I look forward to seeing a lot of that uh, coming up this year. Steve, thanks so much. That's Steve Ziff, the uh, Vice President of Marketing and Digital for the Jaguars. And that's the new uniform right here at Everbank Field, guys. Cole, last night on the 10 o'clock news, we told everybody how the uniforms had been unintentionally unveiled last night at the airport. Did you ask the team how that happened? Yeah, all they would say was that it was a miscommunication, uh, a little bit of an oops moment. Uh, Mark Lamping uh, made light of it today a little bit in the uh, State of the Franchise Address saying, hey, act like it's Christmas morning and you're a kid and get excited about it. I think uh, for sure folks will be excited about this and they'll get a chance to really take a closer look at the draft day party on uh, Thursday when uh, the official rollout, the full bore public rollout of the uniform will happen. Guys? Cole Pepper reporting live from the stadium. Thanks, Cole.